Welcome to the Forensic Healing Practitioner page. Now, you may not know what forensic healing looks like or what to expect when getting a healing. Now, I'm going to give you a very short demonstration of what to expect when you go to a forensic healer. Now, we choose the best forensic healers there are, so if they're listed on our website, they are diploma qualified and they're a good apple. So, here we go. I'm going to give you a little taste of how we use our forensics to make sense of why you've got what you've got. We'll be using this book called Forensic Healing Pathways Guide. It has 90 plus healing pathways in it and has a protocol that we can follow. And in the middle we can move around and do things that we feel intuitively that we need to do or if we've been guided to. And then the rest of the pages are the healing pathways. Now because there's so many we will use this book to read uh, the affirmations or find out what information is needed to be released from the body. That's why every forensic killer will have this book and be referring to it. Forensic killers often have their own modalities. Now, they will only add no more than say 5% of their extra stuff. If they're coming to you, they're going to use 95% of your healing from this book. Now, this is what it might look like. They could do something called open the case. Open the case makes sure that everything is protected, everything is they're guided to do, and it looks a little like this. I, Marisa, allow myself to pure, clear, conduit and connection to all that exists, all source, energy, or universal powers all enlightened beings. That this healing is in with chi is highest good. Now then I go through a series of checks to make sure that we've got all these certain things protection, that we've got the spontaneous healing, healing forces activated, etc. Then I go through a series of finding your archetype, finding your emotions, belief systems, but for this healing I'm just going to go and choose a negative life pattern and I can find out um, what Lucia's intention is for this healing. What would you say it is? To live my authentic self. Okay, so she wants to live her authentic self, so there might be blocks to that. Now let me just go to a negative life pattern, and it's telling me it is number 11, which is potential. Potential means struggle to be in your full potential. The obstacles come your way. That's one of her negative life patterns, and we'll see how it's apparent. Now, if I go straight to an IDH, an IDH shows where something was embedded. Um, I could go, it's like, okay, 20, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, age 10. What? And I ask Lucia, so what's happening around your life at age 10? Now, this is where some pattern is embedded. What, what was happening? Father was always upset with mother and um, she wasn't able to do what she needed to do and it just used to make me very scared. So what would he do? Well, he would get very upset and he would be angry and throw things around. Okay, so you felt like you're in a bit of a war zone. You kind of thought, don't upset your dad, yeah? Yeah, don't, 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 don't speak up. Don't speak up. Don't rock the boat, no. Okay, now that would cause Lucia in adulthood to like make sure she doesn't rock the boat with people and so she would not say things or let people get away with certain things. Has that been a pattern that you've had? It has in been the past? a pattern and I, I don't go for things because I'm scared that I might not get them. Mm -hmm because somebody will tell me off, I'm not good enough. Right, and that always refers back to childhood. And this has been the pattern that Lucia would now see. Now we awaken her to say, hey, here you are. This is why you don't reach your full potential because inside yourself, you hold yourself back. So then, and then I'll bring up information. Then there's going, I go through pages of detail stuff that's in her chakra. I've got a detail scan list that might just start bring up pieces of the jigsaw that show where the blocks are from the chia living in her potential. Um, look, there's many scan lists, but I'll use one here, which is a Y scan list. Let's have a look and see what it says. Past life, karma, revenge, negative. Universal laws, personal growth, contracts, genetic fear. Okay, so the reason why is there is a fear that's still stored in her body. This is, I would say from past lives, I would say this is probably, um, you know, speaking up or if you're shown to have intuitive abilities in, in the past, you burn at the stake, torture, 
and all that sort of thing. So what we're now doing is releasing details of where it's stored in Lucia's energy field. Then I could go to the index and find out of all the 90 different types of healings what sort of healing she needs. And okay, so it's kind of soul reconnection, which is bringing back fragments of Lucia's soul. When we're in tr stress and trauma or um, a lot of fear or abuse or we wish that things, you know, we wish for to take on others' pain or many reasons, um, we fragment our soul and then we're never fully whole. And if you're trying to hide or you get shock, the parts of Lucia's soul have gone missing in childhood. So when we bring those pieces back, she starts to feel whole and integrated. So then I would do a healing pathway. I would ask the shamans to return soul fragments to Lucia. I might also do a forgiveness one where I tell her I'm really sorry for her childhood. And look, there are many different types of options. And then she may get like in an hour, you may get things like awakening to your gifts, you may get um, there's affirmations. You might get um, release surrogate release childhood healing, sacrifice vows. Getting them off is really a powerful way to stop you attracting things that um, are sacrificial. There's physical alignment pathways for your hormones, your DNA, your jaw for allergies, genetics, then you have meridians that we align. We have past life regressions, lost souls. We actually can heal environments now this can be done on babies environment children men women anything any situation in your life that's not working we can show how it's in your energy field and we change your energy field it's incredible how when you change your energy field how things change now then the healing will end up with a dna healing so the dna healing well let me i'll just do it for you and DNA, RNA, chromosomes, wormholes, nucleotides, hyper communication. So now we embed this new pattern in Lucia's energy field. Then I close the case. So then I say, you know, I cleanse, I cleanse the environment, I cleanse myself, I cleanse this room, I close down harmful pathways, and then I look at the etheric field. Then I just bless her and I say things like, I ask that blessings be poured upon Lucia for all the things she stands in need of, that angels may guide and protect her and lead her on a path of empowerment and full potential, that healing may continue throughout this time and that Lucia may always know she is of divine worth and our confirm these requests have taken place and this healing is complete and then I get an energy shift and it confirms to me that we have completed it's got safeguards in forensic healing to make sure that if you haven't completed something it won't let you finish or close the case it sends you back in to maybe take off a curse or a possession energy I mean we go everywhere we do hands-on and align the jaw so there's safety guards in this the rule is they open and close the case and this would transform someone in an amazing way so just want you to know what it might look like forensic killing and what to expect when you go and they the forensic killer will send you off with a affirmation for you to say so for Lucia I would say when she goes into those stressful situations, when she feels like she's not living her full potential, I would get her to be focusing on the opposite and say, I choose to uh, allow flow and I choose to allow myself to reach my full potential. I would send her off. So when she has a piece of paper and there's one affirmation that she will continually say for weeks and weeks and maybe till the next time she comes and sees me to shift this pattern that keeps popping up because we do the same old dance with the same old people. Instead of doing the waltz, I'm going to get her to do the cha-cha. Now, that's like a mini version, just a little insight of what you are to expect when you see a forensic healer. Okay, take care. Don't forget to rate them. I want to know your feedback because I want good apples associated with forensic healing because then that helps the healing and I know that energy is everything. So when we bless others, we bless ourselves. So sending you blessings, love always. Thanks for watching.